I started playing the piano when I was nine, but I'd already made my debut on stage singing in the Rotary Club talent show when I was six. Uh, then I went to Hollins College in Roanoke, Virginia. That was near Virginia Tech, and that's where I met my husband. He proposed, and then I said, but I have a scholarship to Juilliard. Oh, well, if I'm going to be with the DuPont Company and I'll be moving all around every place, and so that's not possible. So you have to make a choice. But I was a small town girl and I was happy to be in a small town and do whatever each community needed. So I made that choice. I gradually became a composer because I ran out of things to do. And so I said, well, maybe I can do that myself. So. When you're versatile and you have a lot of things that you can do, people call on you. So I've had a marvelous time in Delaware because it's such a nice small state and everybody knows everybody. And so for 58 years, I've been making music in all three counties, Seaford in Sussex County, Dover in Kent, and now Wilmington in Newcastle County. Now that I'm in Cokesbury, I find things to do here. As you go along in life, you can find things to do if you look. And then people will ask you because from 40 to 85, I'm still having a wonderful career. Even when I was just a year old, my mother said that I would go and then make all these noises and everybody would stop and say, listen to that baby. <laughs> She's gonna be a singer. <laughs> and so that's what I have done because all these towns that I've lived in had different needs and I did whatever they needed. And it's been a wonderful life.